everybody. Fat Refrains here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And welcome back to Dear Mageddon 2023. <laughs> or was it Dear Apocalypse? I don't know. Is it video 2023 or is that the year? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of these. So welcome back. We're glad you're here. This one's a good one. We've got more and more stuff to go through. I hope you've been enjoying this series. Um, so guys, we're just going to just gonna get the ball rolling. So if you see anything that you like, feel free to send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. You can send us uh, the, the item that you're interested in and we'll send you a price and then you can buy from us that way. It's the best way to buy something. It's the best way to buy something, but make sure you give us the timestamp of the video. So, you know, make sure you say the deer at five minutes and 50 seconds, because if you just tell us the deer, that's not going to work. That's not going to cut it. <laughs> All right. So let's get into it. All right. First up, I've got two little bud vases, which appear to me to be like real Hondo. Aren't they sweet? Yeah. Now this one has had a, a really unfortunate <laughs> yeah, that one's, accident. That one's not going to do. And that one needs to just probably be thrown away. But this one is still in really good condition. And look at her little eyelashes and her little flower necklace. Precious. So cute. My and kind of vase. It's a bud vase. Yeah. Like it doesn't take a big flower arrangement. You can just go out and pluck a flower out of your yard and stick it in there. I love it. <laughs> So I think last video we forgot to count as we were going. So Laura over here is going to be keeping a tally of uh, like Smalls, Yard Sale, eBay, uh, Live Sale, Christmas, and Salt and Pepper Shakers. That's our categories. Yes. All right. This one is like a little souvenir piece. What does that say? The Real McCoys? I think well, that's, that's cute. I think that's what it says. That's cute. I guess that's just a little toothpick holder, you think? I think so. I like how teeny tiny that smallest one is. Yeah, and it's made out of, uh, I don't know, some sort of, what do you think that is? Like plasticky material? I mean, I think it might be what they call celluloid. It's really an old plastic. Maybe so. Look at that. It was originally 25 cents. Yeah, and it was made in Hong Kong. Isn't that cool? Very cool. All right, here's just a little guy. He's got like little dimples. I feel like we've seen something similar to him before in some of our past videos. Perfect little mystery box item. We've also had this before. I think we had this last week. Um, had a, a little bit of damage. This one looks maybe in better condition. There's not as much crazing on the inside as the last one had, but it's so cute. It's just this little deer looking up at this robin. Oh, and look, it says Robin. It's called Robin. I think the other one said that too. Very cute. But they both went the same way, so they definitely, you know, they... They're I mean, not I guess a pair. You could call them a pair, but they're not like a facing pair gotcha. or anything. Correct. Okay. Um, some of these items are going to be non-deer. And here's one. Here's just a little trinket box with a butterfly on it. There's not many non-deer items. That's but. correct. <laughs> um, I'm not sure... Oh, that's just tape. I thought that that was going to be a crack on there, but I think that's tape, and I think that is just a scuff mark that's probably going to buff out. But I don't know. Unless anybody watching is super interested in this piece, this was probably going to be a yard sale or a donate. I agree. Okay, so, Laura, this is like both the best thing I've ever seen and the saddest thing I've ever seen. Aww. So it's the best thing I've ever seen because it's a rocking deer. Like, he's in a little rocking chair. And he was originally a bank, no stopper, but he's got a little place right there for your coins. But it's the saddest thing I've ever seen because he's been broken and repaired. So Do you think he is a deer, though? Oh, yeah. And look, look at his eyes. I know. That's, you know what that's called? No. Lenticular. What? It's called lenticular. That's not a thing. <laughs> Lenticular? Yes. So when he rocks, he's awake, and when he rocks back, he goes to sleep. Ugh. Yeah, L-E-N-T-I-C-U-L-A-R. I can't stand it, but it's the saddest thing ever because he's been broken. So what do you guys think? I mean, is that forgivable because he's so darn unique, or is that just a, a deal breaker completely? You guys let us know in the comments. Ugh. I can't take it. And look, he, he they kind of his eyes don't really go at the same time. So he like <laughs> opens one and closes one at the together. 
So it's like he's winking. He might have to end up in the misfit cell. He's like a perpetual winker. Love it. Here's a little bud vase. Very sweet. Japan mark there on the back. Love it. Another non deer uh, little bird here on a branch with maybe dogwoods. I'm not really sure, but unfortunately, mm, I think he's got a whole branch broken off here at the back. So, I'm not sure about that. And I think maybe a branch broken off the top as well. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, Mary maybe. Beth. Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe. We we'll need, might need to look up comps on that to see if the others look like that as well. But, I mean, he, it does have a mirrored issue right up there too. So, I'm not, I'm not positive. We'll have to look that one up. All right. Next, we have another uh, mama deer and babies. So I don't think this chain is original. I think that it's been added later, which is fine. But uh, I think usually these chains are like bronze colored. And not so long. Yeah. She's really giving them a lot of space there. Yeah. She has a little bit of paint loss here and there, but I don't see any major cracking or I think that's paint loss right there on the edge of her tail. No major uh, cracking or... or uh, chips no major cracking or chips so i think that she's really cute there you go that's super kitschy mid-century kitschy deer at its best right there definitely all right here's another non-deer the little set of birds there, like ye screaming at each other <laughs> looks like they're having a major squabble but uh this the, is... the little one looks extremely upset up yeah there. i mean it's like He's like, wants to play his Nintendo and the mom here is like, just let him play his Nintendo. And the dad's like, he needs to go mow the grass. So that sounds like my childhood. I started to say, that sounds like we just heard a little <laughs> snippet of your past. <laughs> so this isn't vintage. This is made in Taiwan. So this will be in the yard sale category, I think. All right. Next we have a, uh, a little pair of uh, vintage brass deer. So this one has got his head up in the air. This one's eating some grass. So these are solid brass, which are really desirable, guys. So I'm going to give you a bolo. So this is uh, just some comps on eBay for uh, brass deer. If you ever find any vintage brass deer, uh, especially the larger ones. I mean, like, look at that one at the top right there. 33 inches sold for $500 there on eBay. That third set right there that sold on May 18th uh, for around $200, that one looks extremely similar to the ones we've got, but those are taller. So that one's a 13 inch and a nine inch. And ours are just a little bit shorter, as you can see, just right up next to my phone. This is probably more like a six inch and a four. So, but do be on the lookout for brass deer that are especially larger. I do think that they will, I do think that those are probably worth about $45 for the pair at least. Yeah, probably. And uh, if this was 1980 or 1990, we would have to Give shine them, away. them up. No, <laughs> shine them up. It, they would never sell like this though. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah. I, I kind of like the way that they look when they're more on the tarnished side. I think it gives them more character. I, that's what's popular now. I think most people do feel that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Laura and I were super excited when we saw these guys. So these are Arnart, um, and they've got the sugar, like the sugary glaze, you know, finish. These babies are not in the best shape. Their cold paint has, uh, has worn off, but the mom, the mom is in pretty good shape apart from her little bow tie. So her little bow tie is losing some paint. I've got to do this two-handed. So little bow tie is a little worn, but she's in really good shape. Her eyes are, are painted perfectly. The little sugar all over her is cute. Uh, we saw a, pay, a, a set of this sell recently on eBay for $99. Uh, that one, you know, the little babies were in a little bit better condition than ours, but I think that we should expect to probably get around, I don't know, what do you think? 75? Or do you think that's optimistic? Well, that's optimistic, but optimistic is a good thing to be. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> so, who knows? You know, I'll be happy with whatever, but we were really excited, obviously, when you find 
uh, you know, more desirable pieces like this one. And I just love her ears <laughs> pointed up like that. She's like a bat. So these little guys are flocked. Um, they've got like little uh, plasticky e uh, eyes and then they're chained up as well. The mom says made in China on the bottom, so they're not gonna be as old as some of the others. But they're still really cute and they're flocked. They might need to have a nice little rub down as well. Oh, I think this is a bank. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got a stopper. I didn't realize that. Cute. Oh, I was looking right at it. I thought that you could see that. <laughs> cute. So yeah, that's adorable. Here's a non-deer. This is gonna go in our planter category. Uh, just a really cool red leafy design. That's beautiful. That drip glaze is like perfection to me. I just love that. Oh, it's perfection to Laura. It is. Laura's feeling it. Oh, look, another one. But this one's got some damage. It's got a chip here and a pretty deep crack, it looks like to me. So this one is going to go in the yard sale or donate category. I almost thought it was going to be a mug. Laura, why is this the cutest thing I've ever seen? <laughs> Look, she's just like in her little secret grape garden. Just tucked away in her little thicket. Oh, her secret thicket. Oh, her secret thicket of grapes. But she looks like this. Yeah, she's like, hello. <laughs> well, it's because we've stumbled upon her in her secret garden. And she's like, what the hell are you doing here? True. Very cute. Look how adorable that is. I can't stand it. So she's got like a little secret tree stump. <laughs> and mushrooms? Yeah. So see how nicked all this is, Mary Beth? Yeah. So you can feel the difference. It's airbrushed instead of cold painted. Oh. So they airbrushed the whole thing. Didn't they like cold paint the, some of the detail? Maybe the eyes, oh, you know, okay. and the face or something. Maybe those little mushrooms with the cold, you know, right. with the cold paint. But... The airbrush stuff is notorious for being nicked off of there. Okay. It doesn't stay as well. So do you think that that's too much damage to keep or should that go yard sale? What do you think? Personally, I could, I could touch that up and be very happy with that because the little deer is not broken and she's, and actually her paint's really good. Yeah. She's got just a little bit on her nose there. That's oh, just yeah. a little bit worn, but, but I mean, I like it. I, I would, I would, have that piece in my collection. Very cute. Okay, here's like a little uh, gazelle or something who has a little broken horn. So, oh, that's unfortunate because he's pink and, oh yeah, there's another chip right there. So that one is going to be going to a yard sale or donate. There was a couple of boxes at the end of the auction where we thought we could get one or two out of there, but you can tell that she had set those aside in a garage or something and really used them or right. they were broken to begin with or something, so. Gotcha. Look at this one, she's epic. And elegant. Yeah, this is really pretty. It's got some crazing there on the bottom, but she is just really, really nice. That would be an excellent gift basket planter. Perfect. Yeah, I love that. So this one is like extremely earthy feeling to me. Um, I think it's Royal Copley, although it's not marked. Um, I just love it. I love the, the flow, the movement. It reminds me of like a really primitive pitcher. Anyway, I just love the flow, the movement, all of, in everything about this. It's just very earthy. Here's another planter. This one is a little bit more, uh, hmm. <laughs> non-refined maybe non-refined what's a word for that homemade <laughs> yeah sort of but maybe hobbyist this, hobbyist maybe so so maybe this is just a uh, yard sale piece what do you think laura i agree with that look how pretty and epic this one is so i think this is more of like a gazelle or an ibex or something what do you think laura i'll take it though it's the mcm deer family yeah so now this one has just got so much room. So, and it's so big. You know, if you wanted to use this one as a gift box, a uh, gift uh, idea, you could put all sorts of stuff in there. You could put like a scarf and mittens or I don't know, just all kinds of stuff in there. I like the size of that one. It looks, it looks like it is gonna be a TV lamp when you first. 
Oh yeah, it does. Look at it, but it it's just feel just that the planter. But yeah, just all all this stuff in amongst here. The colors are so vibrant. Love it. It's not marked, by the way. Yeah, it has a couple of condition issues. It has oh, a couple it? of cracks on the back that are a little bit. Oh yeah, you're right. But they're in this one. But you know. Because the image and stuff is raised up there, you're not going to see it. Correct. So that's just a personal choice if someone likes that. Yeah. Likes it in spite of that. Yeah, I feel like that's forgivable. Okay, so this is different. So this is like a dad and deer. Dad and babies. You don't see that all the time. Nope. It's usually the doe. <laughs> and then this little guy, he's just learning how to get up. So that's cute. Uh, this says, home of Grand Ole Opry, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I think I saw a, yeah, Made in Japan sticker on the bottom. Very cute. That's like some sort of, I'm not sure it's ceramic. It may be some sort of resin type of material. I like it. I like it. Oh, look, it's another one of these guys. So one of them was broken earlier. So now we have another one. Oh, now we've got a pair. Yay. Here's just a little small. He's got little dimples. He's the kind that looks like a peanut shell. He does. He <laughs> looks like a little peanut. Or a baked bean. Or a baked bean. All right, here's a little bisque set. This is probably yard sale. Uh, just a little made in Taiwan pair here. Laura, what the actual hell <laughs> is happening? He, he's... Needs his face cleaned. <laughs> he needs something. He needs some clothes. He's like in the woods being raised by deer. He thinks he is one. What's his problem? I don't know what the point of that one is. I don't know. Is. He's got his butt up in the... I don't know. <laughs> uh, this says... Does that say Occupy Japan? I can't tell. Hand painted, made in Japan. Oh, just made in Japan. Okay. Guy, y'all... I don't know about it. I don't know. Maybe he should go with the misfits. Here's just a little blue planter. Very sweet. USA on the bottom. Love it. So this one's very cute. Um, unfortunately, he's his leg's been broken and repaired. Oh, look. It's a little little nubbin buck. Aww. A little button buck. Um, but uh, he's got a leg that's been broken right here and repaired. And that's the trouble with a lot of these deer that have these really long spindly legs. You know, that's just a hazard. Also, Laura's mic is about to go out. So if you can't hear her as well upcoming, that's why. All right, so these are non-deer. And at, at first look, you're just like, what the heck? But, oh my gosh. So they're lovey and they're salt and pepper shakers and they fit together like that. How adorable. <laughs> so their necks are like intertwined together. Aren't they adorable? They're so sweet. I just wonder since they're spotted and they have four legs and they're deer-like, if she thought they were deer. Nobody <laughs> thinks that those are deer. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. It's just, yeah, no. Nobody thinks that. So these are going to go in the salt and pepper sale. Mm, we've got more salt and pepper. Look at them. They're kind of derpy too. I think that makes them cute. Oh, look, they're souvenir pieces. They're so sweet. Uh, somewhere in New York. Buffalo, maybe? I think so. Why would they put the holes right up on their forehead? I don't know, but they're <laughs> so cute. All right, another bisque piece. Laura, are you keeping up with everything? I am doing it. I don't think you are. <laughs> I haven't seen you write anything down in years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Shawnee. Little baby and her mom. Well, the planter here on the back, and she's marked Shawnee on the bottom. Very sweet. See, not everyone has the little things like the Royal Copley. They're all a little different. Maybe you're right. <sighs> Here's another little blue planter. Very sweet. Oh, this one's cool. He is, uh, like, jumping over some grass. And his ears are the same color as the grass, and his hooves and tail. That's oh, sweet. I actually really like that one a lot. Me too. That would be perfect for like letters or mail or whatever. Exactly. Oh, I think we've had this one already. I think we had it in a previous video, but they were gray. Uh, this one has some damage 
right there. Shawnee. I don't mind that too much. Yeah, it's it's almost not really damaged. It's almost like the glaze didn't get painted down in there good. You yeah, know? look at his ear. Kind of the same thing. Nothing about that is rough. It's almost just like the glaze didn't reach in those in those areas. So sweet. All right, this one's a little bit taller than the others that we've had. This one's whole. That one's more elegant. It's almost pre-mid-century, you know what I mean? It's almost like a 30s and 40s kind of look. Yeah, maybe so. But it's very, very pretty. And marked hull on the bottom. This little guy's kind of chub. So, <laughs> I mean, she's like, she's, okay, so one of two things are happening here. She's either jumping across the glades or she was trying to and she just gave up and she's just like sitting on the grass. <laughs> That's probably more like what would happen to me. <laughs> The color, though, is fantastic. USA. I think that's a, a lovely piece. I agree. Uh, last piece of the video. Little Bambi planter. Uh, USA there on the bottom. Very sweet with her little eyelash, his little eyelashes. So, yeah. I love it. Oh, he needs a bath. <laughs> they all do. They all need a real good bath. Oh my gosh, Laura, they just keep getting cuter. Yeah, we keep saying it, but I really enjoyed this one. You, I think you packed these boxes. Yeah, I did. So I had fun looking through all these. So I keep expecting to find a box of a lot of broken stuff or, you know, a box that's just not as cute as the others, but that's just not the case. I know. They keep getting better. And we've still got more to go. Guys, again, if you're interested in buying anything, send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. You can send us which item you're interested in. Make sure you send us the timestamp of the of the video. So, you know, the deer at 7 minutes and 14 <laughs> seconds. Um, that way we know specifically which deer you're talking about and we can get you a price. we got to sell some of these deer. we got to get rid of them. <laughs> so, yeah. We, They're multiplying. They are. So, we're excited to sell to you guys. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and leave us a comment. Let us know what your favorite deer was and let us know if you're getting tired of them or if you want us to keep going. <laughs> we got to keep going. All right, guys, as always, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.